to present Swain. Thank you, thank you, Maggie. So, good morning, everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about this firewalk. Uh, so, and why I actually did this firewalk. We don't walk on a burning fire like this. We wait until the wood become a charcoal, but it's still very, very hot. It's around 700 degrees. Then only we walk on it. So the purpose of me doing this firewalk is actually to face my fear squarely in the face lah, and also to break through my limiting belief. So this actually pushed me to step out of my comfort zone and also give me a courage to actually start my accounting business. So let's jump into my topic today, which is the comparison of doing business between an LP and also a St. John Berhad. So LP has no limits in the ownership and company St. John Berhad has a limit up to 50 shareholders. In an LP and company St. John Berhad, it has the same legal status, which is a separate legal entity meaning it has the right in law as a person. So for example, LLP and Sandran Berhad can enter into contracts, sue and be sued, and also own properties. So in LLP, it does not require a licensed company secretary. It only needs a compliance officer, which is usually the owner of the company. So to submit the documents to the relevant department. So it also does not need to be audited. It only needs to submit the yearly management report to SSM, which is the Suruhan Jaya Sharikat Malaysia. But in uh, Sandyang Bahad, you definitely need your licensed company secretary your licensed auditor, your licensed tax agent, and also your experienced accountant to do your yearly management report. So as we see, LLP and Sandrian Berhad is fairly similar. It has almost the same amount of tax form to be submitted and also the same tax rate. So in budget 2023, there is a reduce of tax rate down to 15% on the first 150,000 ringgit earned. So this is only applicable for year 2023 and for SME only. So let us take a look at the pro of uh, LP. So in LP, definitely there is more flexibility in the management and also a fewer legal and regulatory to follow. So the cost for LP is definitely lower, around 4,000 ringgit a year to submit the documents and also the books. There are also a con for LP. So LP has a limitation in raising capital because it has a hard time to issue shares. No, it doesn't have a hard time. It cannot issue shares to raise funds. So it has limiting the business expansion. So it also has a hard time to borrow bank loan because it has lesser credibility due to the books is not audited. So let us take a look at the pros of having a Sandram Berhad. So usually banks will love to provide loans and capital investment to Sandram Berhad as the Sandram Berhad has um, the most reliable corporate structure by the bank. So hence, it is easier to obtain lower loan rates by the bank. So there are also more tax rebate available for Sandra Berhad. Example like the Penjana program and also the Prihatin program during the MCO period. So obviously, Sandra Berhad has a better credibility due to the books is always audited. So let's take a look at the con of Sandra Berhad. So, it definitely has more legal and regulatory to follow and compliance and the cost of keeping a Sandra Berhad is definitely higher. It's around 10,000 ringgit a year to have the bookkeeping and the documents submitted. So, this is what Account Lans provided. So, we provide services which consist of uh, bookkeeping services, financial accounting, and also yearly tax submission to the Malaysia Income Tax. 
Our service starts from 450 ringgit a month, depending on the company structures and uh, transactions. So things that a member can actually help to listen out for from your friends and clients is, I do not know how to fill in this form, I do not know where the figure come from, and worse, I don't know where my money go to. So please tell them that they definitely need an experienced accountant. My quick referral and my ideal referral will definitely be freelancer and also agents like insurance agents and property agents. And I would also love to work with Sandra Bohat for monthly retainer services like tuition center, event company and also investment company. My ideal collaboration partner will be working with a company secretary, tax agent, auditor and also business consultant. So I would like to pass my mic to Dr. K for a testimonial. I actually had no idea about accounting, zero. And uh, things were in a mess. Uh, so it was bookkeeping versus accounting that I didn't realize. Um, so I got in touch with Sue Wei and she helped me resolve from bookkeeping to accounting. Um, did the service meet my expectation definitely because we were actually rushing for the uh, audit, I think at that point. So she said, oh, I don't have much time, but I'm going to do it. And she did. So um, she works quite hard. Uh, she always has uh, a client's interest at heart because when she looked at my inventory, she said, Dr. Kid, you know, <laughs> Like, then I know, oh dear, so your accountant tells size, you're in trouble, but um, she genuinely cares, you know, and it, it, it's uh, it's good to have an accountant that cares. Uh, I'm very likely to recommend Su Wei to the people I know because uh, she's trusted, she's definitely very professional, and I think at the end of it all, she cares. So anyone can do business, right? But you want to do business with people who actually uh, care for you at least a little bit. So yes, highly recommended. Five stars. <laughs>